my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting these pretty golden butterflies fluttering around bring flowers. This is a beginner friendly painting. I'm going to show you step by step how to create the background, how to sketch the composition and how to paint the flowers and butterflies. Today I'm going to be painting with my Montmartre acrylic paint set. This has 24 tubes of acrylic paint and I know many of you have this paint set. I'm also going to link on the description box below the review I did for this acrylic paint set. If you would like to see how I created this pretty and fluttery golden butterflies. Stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I'm using today are titanium white, purple, lamp black, burnt amber, vermilion, yellow deep, magenta, sap green, cerulean blue, Taylor blue and gold. Today I'm working on 9 by 12 watercolor paper. This is 140 pounds. If you watch my videos you'll know that I really like painting on watercolor paper. I have put some painter's tape all around the paper. This is going to keep the paper nice and stretched and it won't get all warped and buckled with the paint. I'm going to start by painting my background and I'm going to be using white gesso. And I have put uh, just a bit of gesso on this plastic cup and I'm going to add a drop of purple and a drop of lamp black less black than purple. I'm going to go ahead and mix the colors in the cup with a flat brush which I'm going to use to paint the background. I'm going to keep adding purple and black until I get the color that I'm looking for and this is the color I want, a grayish purpley color. I'm going to go ahead and paint my background. I'm just applying the paint uh, on a crisscross fashion with my brush. Okay, my background is done and the paint is dry. With white chalk, I'm going to divide my surface in the center here, approximately in the center, and then again in the middle this way. So this gives me four quadrants of equal size and it is much easier for me now to decide where I'm going to place my design. On the bottom half I'm going to draw a bit of a smile coming from this corner coming down and coming up again half an oval like this and I'm going to draw my flowers in here and the stems are going to be curving towards the center. So I'm going to do three on this side and three on this side. And I'm going to draw some ovals. This is going to be the flower. And there are ovals not circles because I want the flowers to be looking up. Okay. 
Okay, something like that. And I'm going to draw a smaller oval in the center. This is going to be the center of the flower. And there's going to be other branches here. We can worry about that later. Let's place the butterflies on the upper part of the surface. The butterflies are going to be like a circle. I'm going to draw three butterflies, maybe one in here. I'm doing a circle and one in here and another one in here. And I'm drawing these circles because I don't want my butterflies to get too large. So this is going to be the size of the butterflies. Let's draw this one. I'm going to divide the circle in half here. And I'm going to draw a line in here, not in the center, but about a quarter of the circle. And I'm going to divide this line in three in three sections of same size. And the body of the butterfly is going to be here. So I'm going to draw a circle, which is going to be the head and the body. The body is not going to be facing, it's not going to follow this line. It's going to follow it the opposite like this. A little bit curved towards the flowers. And the antenna are going to go here, facing the flowers. This is the center of the body in the middle. And I'm going to draw the back wing first. It's going to come out this way. And the second, this is going to be the back wing. And the front wing is going to be like this. We're going to come down here. So this is like a V, and this is going to be the first wing, and we're going to come down and back to the center. And the bottom wing is a bit smaller than the first one, and we're going to join it here. Now we can make this a little point in here too. I like to make the wings with a little bit of a wave like that and a little point on the end of the, the wings. Our first butterfly is done. Let's draw the one here. And on this one, I want to show more of the wing, both set of wings. So I'm going to draw, divide this about in a third. And again, this line is going to be divided in three. And here is going to be the body of the butterfly. I'm going to do the head, just a little circle, and the body. And again, the body is going to be facing towards the flowers. And the center of the body is here. So I'm going to draw a line coming up. This is going to be the first wing, and I'm going to wiggle a bit, and it's going to come back, almost like a triangular shape. And the other wing is going to come up. This is like a V, and I'm going to wiggle it a bit and come back to the center. And the bottom wings is going to be the same, but a smaller a smaller triangle with a wave side. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have two butterflies. And the third one is going to be facing the flowers too. 
And I'm going to divide this in three. This is about a third. And this in three. And the head of the butterfly is going to be here. The body is going to be facing towards the flowers. A, a curved line. And this is the center of the body. I'm going to pull the wing out here. And I'm going to curve it and come back to the center. Like a triangle. And the second wing is a bit a smaller triangle. And I like to add a point on the wings makes them look pretty and the other wing is going to come out from here i'm going to extend it slightly out of the circle and the bottom wing this is like a v like that and the antenna are coming from here towards following the same as the body. Okay, so the sketch looks like this. We have the flowers at the bottom. We have six flowers. Of course, you can make more, but because of the size of my surface, my surface is nine by 12, but I don't want to overload it. But if your surface is larger, you can add more. Let's start by painting the centers of the flowers. I want this composition to be very colorful. I normally use a limited palette, but I'm going to add a lot of bright colors. With a Q-tip, I'm going to pick up some yellow. This is a very pretty bright yellow. I'm going to dab the centers of the flowers. I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. For this painting, I'm also going to be using folk art floating medium. This is going to help with the blending of the colors. I'm going to be using a flat brush now. When I press on my surface, I can see it's going to be the right size. I'm going to pick up some of the floating medium and cover the bristles. And green on one corner and yellow on the other. And I'm blending them on the brush as I normally do. And I'm going to create the stems of the flowers with the yellow at the bottom and the green leading. I'm pressing the brush and follow the stems that I did with the chalk. And I can add some branches too with movement. I want to create a lot of vegetation grass at the bottom. And I'm going to create some leaves just by pressing the brush. I'm just pressing my brush and moving it a bit and lifting the brush. This requires a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, it's the easiest way to create leaves. The fastest, easiest, and they always look pretty. You can add the leaves, whatever you want them. Lots of nice greenery down here. Okay, let's paint the flowers. For the flowers, I'm going to use a round brush and I'm going to pick up white on my brush and just a little bit of blue. This is cerulean blue. I'm tapping the brush to remove the excess. And with this, I'm going to create the petals. 
And the petals are going to be larger on this side of the flower and smaller here, just to create the effect that the flowers are not facing us, but looking up. So I'm going to press the brush and I'm going to lift as I coming to the center. I'm going to press and come up as I'm getting close to the center. I'm following this oval that I drew with a chalk. This is guiding me. The petals always come to the center. So I'm making them smaller in this side. I'm pressing and coming in, pressing and coming in. And this is going to create the effect that the flower is facing up instead of facing out. This is a very easy and fun way to do the petals. Okay, this one is blue. I'm going to do some of them pink. Let's do this one blue as well. And again, I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to press the brush and start coming to a point as I'm getting close to the center. Following the oval that I drew, this is guiding me. This one is going to be blue as well. Okay, for these flowers, I'm going to load the brush the same way with white. I'm going to pick up a little bit of magenta at the point of the brush. Gonna press to remove the excess. And I'm going to paint this once with magenta and white using the same technique. I can put more color, more magenta if I want the petals darker. I can go over them as well if I feel I need to. Okay, let's finish these two magenta with white flowers. to let the flowers dry for now let's start working on the butterflies for the butterflies I'm going to be using a small liner brush and I'm going to mix a drop of black with a drop of raw amber this is a dark brown a mix between the brown and the black I'm going to paint the head and the body of the butterfly so I'm just going to do the head to just a little circle like that and I'm going to follow what I did for the body and I'm going to do the antenna just by pressing a little dot here and one here and this is going to guide me back to the head And you should always have a small clean brush that you can clean up a, a bit if you need to. I'm going to clean up a bit here because I don't want the antenna 
to be so so thick okay let's do the other bodies of the butterfly there's the head just a round small round circle and the body and the antenna going to add a couple of dots and then just follow from the head. Okay, the three butterfly bodies are done. Let's start painting the wings. For the wings, I'm going to use a small angle brush. You can use a flat brush if you prefer. I'm going to pick up some floating medium on the angle brush. Make sure the bristles are covered and removing the excess at the same time. I'm going to pick up this pretty tail of blue at the toe of the brush and white at the heel of the brush. And I'm going to blend these colors as I normally do. You want to keep both colors on the same place on the brush, but this way you start blending and you have the dark at the toe, a medium in the center and white at the heel of the brush. And let's do the center butterfly. I'm going to press with the white closer to the body. And the first wing I'm going to do is this back one that I get to see. And I'm going to press the brush and slide up and I'm going to do it again and again this creates the back wing that we can see and now we're going to do the front set of wings and I'm going to do them the same way I'm going to press the brush and go all the way up to the top of the wing And I'm going to turn just a smidge like that. Make sure you load your brush constantly. Okay, so that wing is done. And we'll do this lower one. And I'm going to move my surface. It's going to make it easier for me. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to press the white towards the body and start creating this lower wing. And here I'm going to add a little bit of a, a point like that. And the first butterfly is done. You can use whatever color you wish for your butterflies. I'm just choosing these colors to make the composition very colorful. Let's do this one. I now have magenta at the toe and white at the heel. Make sure you have enough acrylic color on your brush. And I'm going to do this wing. Again, I move my surface because it's going to be easier for me. And I'm going to press the white towards the body and bring it out towards the wing. And again until the wing is done three, three or four times. And I'm going to do the bottom wing. And again, this one is a smaller wing, so I'm only going to do it maybe three times. That's two, and this is three, and I'm going to bring it to a point like that. Okay, let's do these wings. I'm going to do it the same way. Probably four times with the brush, creating the wing. And the bottom wing is a little bit smaller. 
so I'm only going to do three strokes and on the last stroke I'm going to create this nice point of the wing and for the last butterfly I'm going to use purple at the toe and white at the heel okay going to press the brush and do it exactly the same way i'm going to go all the way up to the tip of the wing and my sketch is guiding me so i know how far i need to go and i'm going to do about four strokes on this wing there's the second here's the third and last stroke and that's the upper wing three brush strokes there's one, two, and three, and I'm going to come to a point. And I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to press the brush and go to the end of the wing. The bottom wing, I'm going to go three times and come to a point okay all three butterflies are done for now if i went over the bodies i can touch up a little bit let's go back to our flowers because yellow is a very translucent acrylic color i'm going to go back and apply more i want my my flowers to be very vibrant and I'm using the Q-tip like I did at the beginning. I now have vermilion on the other end of the Q-tip. This is a very bright, dark orange. And with this color, I'm going to add a bit of shading on this part of the flower. I'm going around half of the center of the flower. This will give the centers more dimension. And it's going to add more color to the to the painting. I have now white on a clean Q-tip, and I'm going to add some highlight at the top of each center of the flower, just dabbing a bit like this, just to make the flowers more vibrant. Because the background is so dark, these touches of highlight make the painting really vibrant. With a clean Q-tip, I'm going to pick up some of the brown black that I mix for the bodies of the butterfly. And I'm going to add some dots on the wings. I'm going to add one here, one here, and in here. Butterflies sometimes have these beautiful markings. So it's going to be two on each wing. There's two in there. I'm sliding the Q-tip a bit and pressing and sliding a little bit. And on this one. And because these are golden butterflies, I'm also going to add some gold. For that, I'm going to use the same angle brush and I'm going to pick up this beautiful gold that comes in the set and blend a little bit just at the toe and with this i'm going to add some gold in the center i'm going to press with the gold towards the body and i'm just going to slide it out like this And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And I'm following the shape of the wing on this one as well. And this one. Just adding a touch of gold. I'm 
now going to pick up some gold with the liner brush and I can add a touch of gold to the head, the bodies, the tips of the wings. Just to add more gold if you like. You can add some on the antenna too if you like. Make them pretty and magical. I'm going to add a little gold on this one too. I have some green now on my flat brush. Just green. And I'm going to add some more leaves and branches, grass in here. Some can be coming from above too. Some small leaves in, up here. I'm making them smaller by applying less pressure on the brush. Do some final touches if you feel your painting needs it. And I'm emphasizing a bit more with the green the stems. So picking up the gold color with a flat brush and I'm going to add some some grass some leaves in this pretty gold color just like I did with the green you can add some leaves in here it's a very soft color very beautiful I hope you can see on the camera how pretty it looks and once everything is dry, you can go over with a dry brush and remove all the chalk markings that we don't need anymore. Okay, my friends, so this is the painting. I removed all the chalk marks with a slightly damp brush to get rid of all the chalk. I really like the colors and the gold. The gold makes this painting very pretty and whimsical. The last thing I'm going to do, which is a bit of my signature for my florals, I'm going to pick up my round brush and I'm going to splatter some paint around the flowers mainly, just to make it a little bit more dynamic and painterly. Okay, my friends, the golden butterflies painting is done. I splatter some of the magenta with white, some cerulean blue, and some gold. I cover the butterflies with a small paper tissue while I splatter the rest. I'm going to give you a close-up so you can see how it looks. enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed doing this painting. I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.